Hey guys. So I got a nice little DVD and Blu-ray haul from the Devil's Vortex for, as I like to call it, Walmart. And you might hear crickets in the background because I've got all the windows open. It's really nice out. It's like, why waste money on AC when the outdoors will do it for me? So I'm a sucker for B movies and dinosaur movies. Dinosaur movies are great if done really well or if done badly in a particularly awesome way. So I got all these for under 20 bucks and I was pretty, pretty stoked about that. I had, you know, a little bit of extra money to spend on that sort of thing. And I got two Blu-rays and two DVDs. And the first I'm going to share with you is what I consider to probably be the definitive dinosaur movie, Jurassic Park. Um, a lot of people really love this movie and I've only seen it a handful of times. And this is the new, the most recent restoration that I know of because it's dated from 2018 and I think this specific Blu-ray was released to celebrate the release of Jurassic Park, The Fallen Kingdom. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the sequels, I've only seen part two and three maybe once and I've seen Jurassic World a handful of times and I thought, I thought it was enjoyable, I liked that it was, I mean it was, it was a fun popcorn flick and I haven't watched the new one. I. I'm in no rush to. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll get around to it. But this is one that I'm excited to watch again because, like I said, I've only seen it a couple times. So there's a lot of parts that'll be fresh in my mind, and I'm not sure whether to classify it as a horror movie or not. Like there's there's scary parts in it, but I'm not sure if it's just a sci-fi adventure. What does everybody think? So I think I'm gonna put it in my horror collection for now, and maybe see how I feel after I rewatch it. Next is Jurassic Predator. I'm curious whether or not there's a character that looks like that in the movie. And obviously they are sort of taking bank off the fact there's both a Jurassic World and a new Predator coming out this year. And um, so here, here's the tagline. After 65 million years, the beast is back. Apparently the story of this movie is that the, the T-Rex's DNA is being experimented on and it keeps growing and getting bigger and nastier. And he kills people. I mean, how? what else can you ask for? Um, I'm excited to watch this. So I got this one for like four bucks. The Jurassic Games. I'm not kidding. That's that's what it's called. The Jurassic Games. Win the games. Win your freedom. So this is basically like, this. from what it says on the back, what I gather is it's convicts versus dinosaurs. So it's basically like the running man with dinosaurs. How creative is that? It's like with, I feel like with the Jurassic Park sequels, they just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. It's like Jurassic World kind of shook it up a little bit out of all the all the sequels, but uh, it's like, let's put dinosaurs in a game with a bunch of criminals and have it be like the Running Man or the, hung, the Hunger Games. So I'm all about that. And I'm curious to see how good the special effects are because this movie came out this year. It's like, I wonder how a movie that came out this year that is a B movie, a low budget movie, will compare to a a movie that came out in 1993. I would wager the dinosaurs in here look fake because look really bad, like really bad CGI because the ones in Jurassic Park, the original, look great. Which kind of blows me away. It's like, I feel like the dinosaurs in Jurassic World, there's a handful of them that don't look as good as they did back in 1993. And that was 20 years ago. Longer than 20 years ago. It's crazy. So last but not least, um, <laughs> this one might be my favorite out of the three um, Guilty Pleasure ones. I don't know, Jurassic Games is pretty close. The Jurassic Dead. Um, <laughs> the only thing worse than a zombie is a zombie Saurus. Enough said. Um, so I guess the premise of this one is there's a T-Rex running around 
and it's infected with essentially the T virus, and it's passing it on to everybody that it attacks. But it's just like when a T Rex attacks somebody, don't they typically eat it? I guess it can affect some of the other smaller dinosaurs, and then they kind of pass it down or whatever. It's like, a T-Rex doesn't really just go around scratching people like a normal zombie would or leaving things behind to get infected, but I'm, I'm, over, I'm overthinking it. Um, so anyway, I'm excited to add these to my collection, and I don't know, it depends on how good they are if I'll end up keeping those last three. Um, so I'm sure I'll have a good time watching them. I'm not expecting anything to blow my mind but uh comment below if you guys have seen any of these like jurassic dead came out this year jurassic games also came out this year and jurassic predator came out last year uh but i'm pretty sure that all these were released to capitalize on the release of the new jurassic park movie and let me know if you think that jurassic park is considered a horror movie again it's got scary parts in it but Part of me wants to be like, well, it's just it's sci-fi adventure with some scary parts in it. Thanks always for, for tuning in. I've been enjoying doing these more personal vlogs to sort of get to know everybody and to sort of do things that are more laid back where I'm not just sitting over there talking about movies as much as I love that. Bye.